Hello, this is Mr. Eve Teeth. And I'm Zombie Cat. This is a review of my birthday present from Zircana. It's the Hot Toys Terminator Genesis Endoskeleton. Six scale figure? Did I say that? Nope. I had. I did. Now, I didn't get this because of the Terminator Genesis movie, because we haven't seen it. I got it because I really wanted a hot toy of the endoskeleton. Now, I know this is slightly different than the endoskeleton that you see in Terminator 1 or Terminator 2. But it's still freaking cool looking. And it's, I think it's kind of expensive to get the old one, so I don't really care. I wanted this one. Sarakana <laughs> sent me one. The real Sarakana sent me one. And I believe she used PayPal credit to send it to me. I, just, I have a feeling that's how she got it. Like we said, we have not seen Genesis. I plan on watching it just because I want to see it, but I heard it's not that great. It's cool Schwarzenegger's back in it, but it's weird to start messing with the original movie and stuff like that. But it's We've also watched plenty of movies that weren't that good, so I'm yeah. not opposed to watching it. It's also kind of weird that Daenerys is playing Sarah Connor. It's kind of odd. Especially since Cersei played Sarah Connor before. Yeah, in the <laughs> Sarah Connor Chronicles. But uh, yeah, that's a cool picture of it on the front there. Then when you take the cover off, you got this little insert that looks like Terminator Vision. It says cast and crew, and it has all the people who made the thing. And then when you put a little insert out, there's a figure. Now, I already had this out, so some of the plastic's all kind of bunched up. So that's why it looks that way. But that's basically how it is when you get it. Right here, there's two little batteries. I already took them out and put them in the head, but I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. Okay, so there he is out of the package. And there's what he comes with. He comes with two alternate hands. And two more alternate hands for the other arm. Looks like extra little piston pieces. And I'm assuming in case... You break them? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to switch his hands because it looks dangerous. Comes with this humongous gun. Which I prefer he came with smaller guns, but... It's because it's just supposed to look like a... Like a big thingy. <laughs> And then he comes with the base, which is kind of cool. It would be cool if this was actually sculpted in, these little, this is all great, but it's actually just kind of like a painted on. There is texture to it, though. It kind of like the, uh, the Hot Toys, uh, Star Wars bases. Yeah. What is this? Does it actually have lights on it or something? It looks like there's lights or something. I don't know what that is. We'll have to look at that. I don't remember there being lights, but it looks like there's a battery thing, so... That would be cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that. Now... Now one of the coolest things is his glow in the dark eyes, um, because uh, well not glow in the dark eyes but light up eyes. I was gonna say they're not glow in the dark. <laughs> Shut up, lady. <laughs> <laughs> See that one thing that kind of sucks though is it, when they're not turned on. You can't have them turned on all the time. It doesn't look right. Like it's he just doesn't look as menacing when his eyes aren't lit up. And I watched a video of somebody who took like some I don't know. It was almost like epoxy or something like bright red epoxy and just stuck it on there like if you could take it off you just stick it on there and it looked like his eyes were glowing when it wasn't turned on so I might do something like that but I'll show you it turned on because that is really cool they're really bright too maybe a little brighter than they should be but it's still cool but yeah you pop the back of his head off and then there's where you put the batteries you have a you have to have a little tiny teeny screwdriver to get that off of there so if you, you're here in Walmart or somewhere a lot of times up by the registers they have like the little eyeglass kits and they'll have like little tiny screwdrivers and those should work and I use tweezers to put the batteries in there but then there's the button you press and that turns it on and then you put the head back on really that's upside down and there's his glowing eyes oh that looks so cool yeah. That looks so much better. <laughs> um, I'm looking at a little viewfinder or whatever the hell the thing is called on this video camera. And it doesn't look as red. And So I don't know how it's going to be on camera. But it is bright ass red in person. They're really bright. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should turn one of the lamps off? Or yeah, we could, well, we could try that and see. Because, I mean, it's... I mean, they're really bright in person. Uh, it looks like the it's not translating well on the camera because it looks more like whitish or pink on camera. 
but in person it is just red like red 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 yeah, two <laughs> bright red dots like it looks perfect yeah like if you press record on something you know, it's a bright red dot that's what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> shut up that's a dumbass analogy <laughs> no it isn't that's, that's what it looks like but that looks really cool and I just wish they can be on at all times I wanted like infinite battery to stick in there they won't. hook them up to a cord and plug them in yeah <laughs> Man, if I could do that, I might. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. So even with just the camera, the digital camera taking pictures, I still can't get the eyes to show up like they do in person. Because they just look kind of like white with pink around the edges on camera. But in person, they just look red, like we said. But there with the lights off, that's about as close as I can get to the Terminator's eyes actually looking like red. Still isn't completely red like it is in person though. Oh yeah, by the way, he is made of plastic, but the paint on him really makes him look like he's metal. Yeah, I I actually didn't even know that he bought this until like two minutes before we started this video. <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, we have the, uh, the Terminator 6 scale. I'm like, what? <laughs> and he opened the box, I'm like, is this real metal? I <laughs> wish it was. It's not, but it really looks like it. Hot Toys made many <coughs> Iron Man figures that are real die-cast metal, and I, I wish they would have done it with this. That, that would be really awesome, but I, I think this is about as close as you can get. He really looks like metal. Yeah. But the reason I want this made out of real metal is because of these pistons. Because I have the NECA... I mean, they're smaller and probably a little cheaper than NECA and McFarlane Toys endoskeletons. These pistons tend to break. And these are plastic, too, and... I'm afraid they'll break. And I, that's why I kind of wish they were made of metal. Man, he looks so cool. He looks like Chrome. He's so shiny. Those eyes, man, I wish those eyes looked as good in per or good on camera as they do in person because they are really cool. Maybe just in this viewfinder, viewfinder they don't look as good. But I'll take some pictures. Maybe the pictures will show up good. Man, that looks so cool. He is awesome. And I don't even mind that the design is slightly different from the classic endoskeleton because really I can't tell a difference when I'm just looking at him by himself like if you compare them you can see the differences but there's not much they're pretty similar yeah like I can like I didn't notice it when he was in the package but now that he's out like I know he doesn't look like the classic Alex exoskeleton but I don't think endoskeleton whatever I'm drunk <laughs> fuck off <laughs> but it's close enough that I don't care yeah um, if it was an exoskeleton it would just be like a metal shell and I say a person inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> and I say it does look a little closer to the Terminator 2 endoskeleton. Because I don't I really think Terminator 1 and Terminator 2, the endoskeletons look different to me. They're supposed to be both the same model, the T eight hundred, but the one in the first movie I thought looked terrifying. I thought he looked like a skeleton. But then when you see them running around in Terminator 2, you see the future scenes. I just thought they looked... It's kind of bulkier? Yeah, too bulky to fit inside yeah. of a body. I agree. I noticed that too. And that make to me it makes them less terrifying. I don't know why. It, just, it looked like a an evil robot skeleton in the first movie. It was seriously made the end of the first movie like a horror movie. And that really was awesome. Mm -hmm. But they just I just didn't think they were scary in the second one. But still, this was pretty damn cool. Man, there's so much wires and stuff in there. I do, th I do think these kind of stick up a little bit too high to be realistic because yeah. his chest wouldn't be all the way up there. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, it just has to go with the whole movie design because how would these moving parts work underneath the flesh? Because it would I rip up the flesh. Yeah. It wouldn't work unless there was some kind of like protective membrane. Yeah, that, that could be. That I mean, I guess they can explain it if they wanted to. It's just that, yeah. <laughs> We don't need to get into that because there's all kinds of... We can get into all kinds of I Terminator. I mean, if you want to get into made-up science, they can explain anything they fucking want to. Yeah. So, yeah, we can get it's in, fictional. Whatever. The goofy time travel <laughs> stuff. One of my favorite things is turning his head. It just looks cool. That's something that reminds me of the first movie because when the head turns around, looks around, it's so so creepy looking. Yeah, and the way the, the, way the pistons and the little uh, tubing wire, whatever you want to call it, moves... Is pretty neat. Yeah. Nah. I like his little realistic teeth too. I always thought that was creepy. Yeah, it is. The whole metal skeleton and then these realistic looking teeth. Mm. 
Well, I guess we'll look at him closer. I mean, it's, some parts are kind of hard to see because he's so... He's, shiny? Yeah, he's chrome and just shiny. <laughs> it's reflective of, as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of detail in there. And you can see where I broke that damn thing off. That's not that bad. It's no. really not noticeable, especially since when he's displayed, it's not like you're going to be looking at the back of his fucking head. Yeah, even if I broke that one off and just painted them holes of it, I don't even care. I don't care about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't care about those sticking out. But Seems kind of dumb, actually. What are those for? I don't even know if the original one has that. Cause this I one's don't think so. Slight, uh, yeah, I never noticed them, but it's hard to tell. It's kind of weird that this is like plastic. Shouldn't it be chrome, too? I don't know. Maybe they're like rubber gaskets. Maybe. <laughs> Gotta look at the too important for that, but... I do like how his, well, his spine can move a little bit, but I wish it could move more. I mean, you can... It'd be cool if like the spine could actually like bend, like he could bend all the way over forward. That'd yeah, be really cool. Yeah, if he was fully articulated, but his pistons and everything... The spine does look neat, though. Yeah. I like the way they did it. Man, he's just... He's just so cool. Look at them pistons. That's another thing. Like, yeah, you have to have a huge muscle, and Schwarzenegger does, but I mean, I don't know. I guess all the Terminators are huge. I don't know. <laughs> that just reminded me of your fucking bird theory. Oh yeah, yeah. My husband, my, my theory was it would have been a much more effective if instead of sending back a human Terminator. They could have just sent back a Terminator that was a bird. And then it can just find John Connor and fly at his face and burrow right through his head instantly. <laughs> or, like, no, what you, what you said before is even if they sent back a human and the bird, the human Terminator could figure out where he was and then the bird could go kill him because they're not yeah. going to suspect a bird. Because, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the Terminator would have to go, like, looking through the phone book and stuff like that and figure out where he is. And then the bird could kill him. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be a pretty shitty movie. <laughs> so that's why they didn't do it. <laughs> I'm going to make that movie Bird Terminator. <laughs> the end of John Connor. <laughs> there, was, there is a dog Terminator in the Robocop versus Terminator comics. <laughs> yeah, I just wonder. Like, the NECA figures, you move his legs in certain positions and the little rods pop out. You're already making me nervous because your finger's bumping this one and it's moving all over the place. Yeah, they're kind of loose. That one's loose. I just have a feeling if I mess with them enough, it's going to break. It might even break in a Well, quit! Look at that. That's so cool. Look at those pistons working. Are you going to do articulation now? Because you're kind of doing it already. Uh, I just like looking at them parts move. Look at it that. It is cool, but I'm so afraid they're going to break. I'm afraid too. Maybe we shouldn't have done this review while drinking. I don't know. Well, maybe you should do articulation when you're not drunk. There's a book too, like, well, all these hot toys come in the books, but there's, it tells you, like, limits. Like, all of the joints, like, there's limits to how far you can bend them or you're going to yeah, break it. Yeah, it tells you, like, the degree of the angle you can turn it to. It's just like the NECA versions, and this wire here hinders it a lot. You can't, you can't put his arm all the way up, because, see, it's already tight. Mm. So, that kind of sucks. I wish his arm could go straight up. Or maybe you can do it like this, but nah, not really. <laughs> That's about what I did with the arm. It looks like they got the arm to go up further than I did. What is that? What does that mean? It says the this this may move out of position. Maybe that wire is not attached and you can move it out. I should try that. So the directions were very handy. These aren't actually attached in there. They're just they just go down into the hole. So you actually can. You just pop out. out Put his arm all the way up, and then position that down in there as best as you can. Maybe you can't. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it was. There we go. So you can, you can. You can actually get his arm up in the air. That's cool. I'm glad these pop out of there. Well, might as well just do articulation. So his head could turn side to side. Up ah, there, you can see. Oh, uh, that break or did it just pop off? I think it broke. Yeah, so you can see it's, and you get, uh, I just broke a little piston, damn it. Yeah, ah, uh, well, I guess I'll just glue that back in. Should be fine if I glue it back in, right? I hope. Man, just like the neck of figures, it breaks when you turn it. That's why I wish this was made of metal, it would be a little more durable. 
you know, the head can go up and down. And the mouth can open about that far. Seems like it should be able to go a little further, but it can't. Man, I'm scared to do our degulation. And then this could spin all the way around here, I think. And that can go out like that. And then you can see the arm can bend there. And the pistons move. Looks cool. This could spin there a little bit. And with the wrist. Oh yeah, it can move with the wrist a little bit. Not a whole lot. Doesn't look like the wrist can bend though. That kind of sucks. I wish it could. Then up at the torso. Not a whole lot of movement, but there's some. I go forward and backwards just a little bit. <laughs> I wish that could go more too. That'd be cool to see. You can also do this little tilt back and forth, which looks pretty cool. Then at the hips, another scary spot. I already showed this goes to about 90 degree. That can go to about the 90 degree. A little further. And this, they can go out. The legs can go out a little bit. But it's only to about there. Then down at the knee, or down here it could spin a little bit. Seems to stop about that far. Down at the ankle. Little piston works there. We can tilt a little bit. And this little, little bit of toe articulation. So that's pretty cool. I mean, articulation, I'd say is scary. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that before. But it's just scary to move this thing around. It's, it just feels like it's going to break. But it's cool that it would move. I'd say basically you just get this into a pose you want. I mean, it holds its position pretty well. It feels tight. Get it into the position you want. And don't try not to move it very much as I am. We're gonna have something like this happen where you break the piston off the back. Damn it. Zombie Cat just went on a smoke break and said don't break them while you're doing articulation. And then I go and break them. Guess we got tr oh man I'm, I'm scared. You can change out the hands so you can hold those weapons and stuff. But oh it's scary. I mean look what you gotta do to switch the hands. You gotta pull all these little pistons out. Man! Oh then what what is this? You gotta put them all in there. Let's take a bit. Oh, that's scary as shit. Uh, so I guess since we just did articulation, I'll show you that. Like, it give you the degrees of what you're supposed to do. I'm guessing I must have turned that more than I should have. Broke that piston? I don't know. And then it looks like they got the... the spine turn a little more than I was able to do it. Got the uh, knees about right. You can move him in some positions a little more than I thought you could. So that's cool. By the way, I turned his little lights off. These reviews take longer to record than you actually see. So I don't want them to uh, wear the battery out. But I'll turn it back on at some point. Okay, now I guess I gotta try to switch these hands, which I'm very frightened of doing. Uh, oh man, look how cool this look. Turn it, that looks so cool. Okay, let's try to switch these hands. So, here's the hand when you pop it off, comes off with the pistons. And then you gotta pop these off there. Yeah, I guess they come off easy enough. And then you just get the other hand you want and stick them on there. Now we each put on a hand. They're a little bit, a slightly bit difficult to get the pistons to go into these. You just gotta be careful. But this is kind of like a fist hand, I guess. So you can punch somebody. <laughs> and this is the gun holding hand. And I'm going to put the other gun holding hand on here. So I can hold the gun. Yeah. <laughs> and there's what his arm looks like when you take the pistons out of there. Or the rods out of the pistons. or I don't know. The thingies out of the majiggies. Yes, that's the one. And here's what his hand looks like. It's Her... not attached. Well, I already showed it. <laughs> so I guess I might as well show... I don't know if you're going to be able to get it in while you're holding it like that. Well, I'm going to try. Easier to lay it down. Uh, there we go. Oh shit, but I didn't get that. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. So you gotta make sure that goes into there. 
all three of those go in. <laughs> Tough it's to a do. little tricky. <laughs> oh, I think I got it. Don't break him, damn it. <laughs> I hope I don't. I already broke his neck once. So there he is holding this big gun. Which neither of us really like this gun. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, it's in a movie, I'm assuming, but I just. It's a futuristic gun. I just don't like it. It just looks like a big rectangle. Yeah, it doesn't look like much. <laughs> uh, I would prefer to put a modern day gun, like maybe this is a Terminator that came back in time and skin got burned off and he's using regular human guns, like machine guns and. Like a mini gun, like the big. Yeah, that would be cool. Machine gun thing. Or even just like an M16 or, or something. Or even just a pipe to beat you with. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I'm probably going to get... I mean, you could buy six scale guns and I probably have extra ones. I'm not sure. Yeah, I could use Rick's M6 or his AK-47. Okay. So we got this unscrewed from the base. To try to get these lights working. And then I went and looked in the drawer and wondering if we had triple A batteries and we did brand new ones. And then I go to stick them in and there's no metal in there. There's nothing in there. What the fuck? And there's no it doesn't look like there's lights in there. So this must have been a base that was used before and they reused it but just didn't include the light stuff. I That's mean It's just mean. I mean the thing I didn't <laughs> I never seen anything about this base being lit up. So I, when I pulled us out and seen these, I thought that was kind of odd. I'm like, what? I don't remember seeing that. So, I guess that's why they didn't say anything. Because it's, it's just... well, then they should have not used that. Because that's just fucking mean. Man. I know it is. I that's thought they're so mean. rude. Yeah. I'm like disappointed now. <laughs> I wouldn't have cared if I didn't think there were lights, but now that I thought there were, I'm disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the Terminator endoskeleton next to the the Ultron Mark One. This figure I. But simply because it reminded me of something like a Terminator. I just like the way it all looked like some kind of beat up scary looking robot from a horror movie that'd be trying to kill you. They both look pretty damn awesome. And they both got light up eyes. So I'll try to get them in some fighting poses. It's kind of difficult because they're just... It's so scary moving both of them. Like they just feel like they're going to break. Or pistons are going to pop out or something. And they all both almost fell over on me while I was doing this so... It's dangerous. And there's the Fison muscular body with the Arnold head uh, stuck on there. But that Terminator skeleton can definitely not fit in that body. He's way too tall. There's the Terminator next to a Hot Toys Elder Predator from Predator 2. Well, this would be a really cool fight to see. If they made a movie, it'd probably be a crappy movie, but it'd still be cool to see them. And you know. At some point, they'd have a Terminator Predator. You'd think it was a Predator. They shoot him, and he's got robot parts under there. That looked pretty awesome, though. After you got all the skin off. I want to see that. I bet someone drew it. Okay, so... Despite the base disappointment, which... I mean, it doesn't advertise that that base lights up. I just... When we see it, it's like, Ooh, this must light up. And they tricked us! Yeah. <laughs> But at least his eyes light up. It looks really cool. In person, at least. Mm. On camera, I'm not so sure. It looks as nice as it does. But the glossy chrome, or the shiny chrome metal, I mean, it's actually plastic, but it's painted to look like metal. It really looks like metal. They yeah. did a good job on it. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, just like the NECA and McFarland toys, these pistons are fragile. I wish they were made of metal. And I already, like, broke that one on his neck. I glued it, but it popped off again, so I don't know. They'll probably just get him into position and glue it. And leave it that way? Yeah. But, man, he's so cool. I mean, at least with figures like this, you're not going to be playing with it all the time. So, yeah. still fix it. And I'll probably do something like where I uh, give him some red eyes that are permanent. Well, not permanent, but on when... You don't have to have the batteries on all the time. Yeah. And the gun. Don't really like the gun. I'd rather... It doesn't matter, though. Yeah. You just not use it. And you can switch his hands. They're a little tricky, but you can... It's not too bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's still a little bit... Articulation yeah. is limited, but... In some spots, like the legs, is pretty good, but still, it is limited in most spots. And also, it feels like it's going to break all the time. <laughs> it's scary to move it around. 
But it just looks so cool. It's a really awesome looking Terminator. <laughs> I had no idea you got this, and I'm really glad you did, because he looks awesome. Yeah, I've been watching them, and then I knew it was coming out soon, because some people had them, so I pre-ordered them on Big Bad Toy Store, and then it said it shipped. And I was like, huh? So I went and looked on their page, and it still said pre-order, so I guess it stays on pre-order, and as they get them in, they ship them out, and they keep it on pre-order. I don't know, it's just weird. The way they do that. But yeah, I hate pretty damn awesome. Once we started getting six scale figures, this is one of the ones I wanted was a endoskeleton. And because this one just came out, it's actually somewhat affordable. I mean, hot toys in general, for most people, I would say, are not affordable for a toy, but we got the sickness now. <laughs> <laughs> it is a disease, man. So it's bad. You, <laughs> so then you have a new level of affordableness. Is this an affordable hot toy? Or it's just one of them ones that's on eBay for like $600 because it's it came out years ago. <laughs> but this one was brand new, so the price wasn't too bad. It's regular price. <laughs> <laughs> and he does look really cool. I, I really like him. He's pretty awesome. Well, that's Mr. GFT. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. And I'm just looking over there like I'm in a fan photo. <coughs> Did you get naked so we can go back in time to kill Sarah Kana? What? What the hell, you idiot? That's not what Skynet meant by getting naked. You have to be covered in living tissue to go back in time. The time machine will not accept your metallic parts unless it's covered with living tissue. Oh, when you said get naked, I, I, this is what I thought Skynet meant. No, you idiot! You are so stupid. Now I got to go by myself to try to kill Sarah Connor. And now I might have failed because you stupid idiot can't take off your clothes without taking off your skin. Stupid idiot. Mm. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Ooh.